Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Camille, the Dungeon Master. What you need to know is that we are playing 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons in a world of my own creation called Zenmaria. We're using the Domwar Pantheon with a few special additions. You may recognize some Pathfinder flair from the Oracle class to the goddess Saren Ray. And you can find homebrewed items, monsters, and even entire races in this campaign. You might also see me play an important NPC by the name of Ray. He met the party early on and traveled with the group for quite a while before they realized he's not only the missing general of the Imperial Army, but he's also the crown prince of the Empire. Ray has made it his mission to protect his new friends while he embarks on a quest of his own to save various members of his endangered family. As the Empire is in the middle of a civil war. Underlying players to this open rebellion are being slowly revealed throughout the game, and the characters are choosing to remain neutral for now, but these unlikely heroes face a much bigger threat. An insurmountable force threatens the material plane, taunting the characters from just beyond the horizon. At the same time, many factions work to their own ends, both for and against the party's personal objectives. The Divine Covenant seeks to protect the Primal Ban, while the Silence claims to root out corruption at its core by any means necessary. The Cult of the Dragon Queen aims to raise their Dark Queen from the Nine Hells, and the Assembly still remains a mystery. Even the Gods on High mean to meddle in the lives of this group of adventurers that they have named as Fates Chosen. These adventurers handle trials from handling political intrigue to maintaining the balance of the cosmos not to mention fighting their own personal demons. In a world where nothing is black or white, good or evil, fates chosen must find a way to mark their own paths and claim their own destinies. Welcome to Obit for Adventure. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Can y'all say something so I know you're not muted? Hey, hi, oh. hello. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. That I was actually muted, but that was. I was also, but it was me. I muted myself. Yes. <laughs> Same of these. Welcome back to Open for Adventure. We've had Ooh. a fun little hiatus while my brain becomes unbruised. Um. Let's talk about what happened last time on Open for Adventures, Fate Chosen. We saw Alexander, Kessler, Leona, Ray, and yeah, Alexander, Kessra, Leona, Ray. <laughs> Names are hard. Elden. Elden. Storm the castle in the Imper uh, storm the Imperial castle in order for two missions. One, to rescue Xanalar Silvarian, who is both Kesra and Leona's father. Two, to rescue Princess Annalena Massier, who is Areo's sister. They discovered, while they were there, someone they previously had thought to be dead. Evan Harper, who is the son of the royal gardener and Annalena's childhood best friend and her lover he appeared out of nowhere <laughs> seemingly back from the dead if you would like um to see more of Annalena and evan check out our patreon uh booyah um oh i didn't add the link y'all i made a thing but i didn't add a link <laughs> I'm really talented at streaming. Um, it's, thanks. It's, it's patreon.com forward slash open for adventure. Okay, there you go. Um, so they, no plan survives contact with the enemy and their plan of get in and get out um, 
worked pretty well until they came across Roman Kentigern. The sworn enemy of several members of the party. Um, thank you, Casey. Roman nearly defeated their attempt at, at escape as Alexander cast a very clutch teleportation circle. He was almost fe feeble-minded and then almost power word killed, saved by a saving throw and a very clutch counterspell. This resulted, oh, it's also important to mention that Xanlor Silvarian and Annalena Massier were not the only two non-player characters that the party rescued from the dungeons. Uh, they also rescued basically everyone else in there, unlocking all of the gates, or unlocking all of the cells, and freeing several, several people. Um, through f th f whom they all transported back to Asmarin. This includes famous people like Ekaterina, Lady Ekaterina, who is the wife of the realm's justice ever Hassan, a very important person, and Andromeda Skyseeker, a very, very powerful oracle. It was a lot, yeah. The party is now back in Asmarin for the first time since the beginning of the campaign when the First Lord Theo announced that Asmarin would be separating from the kingdom, creating a rebellion against the corrupt empire. empire. Did I leave anything out, friends? I mean, we... I mean, one of the people we rescued was um, Alexander's Oh, yes. Sister. Very important to notice that um, as Alexander was going around unlocking dungeon doors, he came across a group of monks. A group of monks of Paylor. A group of monks of Paylor that also included his younger sister, Mira. Surprise! <laughs> uh... So now we find our party, having just teleported. Would y'all like to have a long rest and then begin your, your, your roleplay experiences, or would you like to start that night? Um, I think we could do a long rest. I don't know about you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. The only thing that I feel like is immediately necessary upon arrival is, like I said like 80 times before, <laughs> I'm a broken record, um, sending to Amelia Burke, tell her that, you know, mm -hmm. when it's not suspicious, you should leave because we're not coming. Are your captions working, Kate? They should be. Yeah. Can you send me the link again? Yes. Thanks. And Alexander, uh -huh. yours are not working either. I can send okay. a... Oh, it looks like mine aren't working either. Hmm. That is a shame. Evan, say something. Mine aren't working either. What the heck? That you know what? Did I stop? They all just stopped working. Oh, super weird. Oh, yeah. Mine's still... Why does it say Rihanna? I never <laughs> said Rihanna. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so let's use that. Huh. Interesting. The link. Stop captioning. Well, while we're figuring this out, um, I'm pretty sure everyone that is currently watching already is. But if you're not, you should follow us. Maybe subscribe to us if you can. If you can't, I totally get it. I understand. We do. Otherwise, we uh, join us on our super, super awesome Discord. It's full of amazing, wonderful, magical people. It is a magical experience. Um, our our sponsors, Campaign Coins, are also wonderful, magical people. Uh, their store has pretty much anything you might need for any kind of game. They have, um, obviously, coins of all different shapes, sizes, images, amounts, uh, materials, whatever you might want. But then they also have really fantastic... Um, f tokens, items, um, I don't know, tchotchkes, 
Judges. For all kinds of things. Uh, they have enamel meeples. They have Devon Room map. Um, roses. Uh, com com compass roses. To weigh down like maps. If you're playing in person. They've got, they also have really, really great fiction. Um, although it's just a magical, wonderful, magical place that will take all of your money if you let it. But the good news is, is that they deserve it. So you're going to a some wonderful, wonderful people that do some wonderful, wonderful things. Um, you know what? I guess we'll just have to we'll just have to the show must go on. Okay. So maybe they will start working again. Uh, this is an experimental thing, so you know it could be some yeah. some fun. Here we are, just living our best life. I can cast sending. Why don't you cast sending? Who are you casting <laughs> sending to? Captain Burke. Okay. What is your sending? I Hi, Captain Burke. Oh, that's weird. It takes two, it takes two things. It's Leona. Um, change of plans. We no longer need a ride. So you might want to leave when it is convenient. And then I'm gonna cast sending again. Hi, Captain Burke, it's Leona again. Uh, you should leave soon. Soon is good. It takes some time. But after 20 or so minutes, you hear, very good. I was beginning to wonder when I would hear from you. We'll be on our way. Wait, did you tell her where to go? No, you just said leave. <laughs> where should we go? I'll cast the engine one more time. <laughs> Hi again. I'm on my other hand. I don't know what happened. It's Leona. Um, we're in Asmarin. If you would like to join us, I don't know how long we'll be here. All right, I'll start making my way. Should take me a few days. So it's after a long rest. You all wake up west, well rested in the morning. It's God a and send in spells. It is a mm -hmm. beautiful, sunshiny day in the city of Asmarin. You were all given very, very fine, comfortable lodging within the castle. If anybody tried to leave the castle, uh, they would have gotten a message from. Uh, the king, Theo, that they are needed today. Um, and that somebody will be with you shortly. Does anybody try to leave? No. Okay. I think I'm just laying in bed with Kasra. It's, it's, it's snoozing time. It is shit, shit ass snoozing time. Yep. <clears throat> Definitely just kind of sleeping in after uh, yesterday's uh, shenanigans. Um, so, Kessera. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> yes? How was, um... What, what, what happened in... In in Quan not Quan Mall. That's the other place. The Val Valzara. Yes. What happened in Valzara? Um. Uh, you know what, Blondie? I don't really know. Uh, we got a summons. 
for me, for mercenary shit, which is a lot mm -hmm. of shit. Uh, unfortunately, I was a goddamn idiot and touched the damn paper, or we could have pretended it never happened, but fucking magic bullshit. Um, so we went, and I guess it was handled. I, I really wasn't, I wasn't really involved in much. Oh. So. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really know. Who handled it? Was it the prince? I don't think so. I was hmm. kind of, uh, gonna be perfectly honest, Blonde, I wasn't really paying that much attention. You should try to a little more often. You know, you would think that, but... Mm. Might keep you out of trouble sometimes. For how much you complain when your friends drag you into weird places, you don't seem to notice. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. No, I don't really... I don't really know what happened, only that something happened. And it was... No longer an issue. We did get a name, though. Oh? Apparently. Wait, did you tell me about that? Okay, okay. I don't know. Damn it. Um, it was... Uh, fuck. Um, I don't... If some kind of lord... There was an A. It's not Alonzo. No. It's lots of lords that start with A, I would think. Yeah. I remember his last name was McGrath. Oh. So I like Wrath. That was pretty neat. Yes. Is this the man that brought the charges against you? Maybe. I don't know. It's all real complicated stuff that apparently he was, I don't know if he was behind like me specifically. It seemed to be just in general a crackdown on mercenaries as a whole oh so interesting yeah hmm yeah. well i'm glad you're all right and free <sighs> she'll have to thank leona and see what she did you think she did something well if it wasn't ray i mean it certainly wasn't that elden fellow i mean he seems like just a soldier and um well you said that uh it was just, just the three of you when you traveled to Valzara, wasn't it? Pretty much. Might so, as well have been. I mean, by Occam's razor, it must be. By what? No. You don't, no, it's fine. Don't. It's fine. <laughs> I guess. I guess so. I think it would, yeah? I vaguely remember thanking her. That's good. You should. I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, you seem to get each other into enough trouble that it probably evens out in the end, but... Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. So, you're in my hometown now. Oh, yeah. There are many wonderful things that I could show you. Oh? How many of them are outside of the room? <laughs> Plenty. Okay. Oh, there are many in here I could show you as well. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Shit. Hang on. Blondie. Hmm. Didn't, weren't you looking for a, for a thing? Weren't you looking? Yeah. For... Yes, I'm... I, I mean, I'm I'm often looking for things, but, but there was like a big um, thing. There was like a big thing. Yes, uh, it's a book. Uh, it's a book What's called, it called? Lore Keeper. Lore Keeper. Okay. All right. I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna like. So, so. Sorry, it's not a book. 
Excuse me? Yeah, no, I have come to some unfortunate levels of information on things that I really don't want to know about. It's fine. We're just, it's okay. It's not, but <laughs> apparently Lorekeeper is one of the thingamabobs that goes on the Who's He What's It. Um, uh, dear, that you're... Mm. The, um, I know there's a lot of Who's He What's It's and a lot of thingamabobs go on said Who's He What's It's. I mean, the... Um, the 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 Veldahar. Oh. Oh. It's one of the gems that goes in the Veldahar. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. Everything I've read is said it's a book. That it's it's a thing that grants great knowledge. I mean, there's no reason why it can't still grant great knowledge. It just goes on a crown. I see. All right. What do you happen to? I mean, this is, I mean, by far the most information I've been able to find as of late. I mean, do you have anything? Do you know where it is? <coughs> no. No. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. My horse. But now might. I know I'm not looking for a book. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, did but you say your horse told you? Yes. Regular horse or the one you summon? Definitely not a regular. I don't have a regular. I have exactly one horse that has ever told me anything in my entire life, Blondie. All right, it's fine. I mean, you know, uh, some people you get a couple whacks to the head and start <laughs> not, hearing I'm things. Not a horse whisperer, Blondie. Come on. <laughs> Anything I'm a horse shouter. It's fine. One this is true. I've horse. seen you in combat with your horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, apparently we have to go start collecting that shit soon. Probably would be wise. That, uh, that prophecy that we all heard isn't exactly getting any younger. Hmm. I'm glad that you've been able to keep each other safe. Somehow. On the subject of safe, um, we are in my hometown. And mm -hmm. so I can't guarantee your safety from meeting any of my family. Uh, okay. Considering we're being called in front of King Theo, I have a distinct guess that at least one member might be there, but I don't know. I'm not, um, I'm not exactly a uh, hit with parents in general, just like, just like, <laughs> like, just like in, in general, especially, um, Ones that with layers of courtesy wrapped around them. You know, it's not my uh, strong suit, Blondie. I think that you might get along well with my father. Um, you begrudgingly uh, wield Pelor's light, um, which is going to immediately endear him to you to some extent. Um, so I'm guessing that I can't refer to him as, um, that one guy, Shitlord Supreme, I, I, things. I would suggest you don't. <sighs> cool. Great. And, then, and well, I mean, you already met, um, well, I guess now two of my family members previously. You met Mayera yesterday. I'm sure she'll be around. I... I do need to talk to her, but, um, and then you met my brother Apollo back in, um, Fieldcrest, yeah. Fieldcrest, yes. Well, 
<laughs> Your haste looks more sour than when we entered the Imperial capital. I guess thanks for the heads up. But... Well, I wouldn't... Uh, I do like a good prank on you, Kassara, but that would be cruel. <laughs> If I had thought about it, we probably should have done separate. It's fine. It's it's, it's fine. <laughs> you look entirely too pleased with pleased with yourself for all this. Well, I do like putting you in uncomfortable positions. <laughs> what? Anything I shouldn't say, other than refer to Paylor as what's his face? I mean, I would ask that you keep the same discretion we've been keeping about my uh, no, wizardly no, yeah, abilities. Yeah, no, something, um, uh, so, 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 something new, Blondie. <laughs> um, nothing that I can really think of. Um, Surely right. this can't be the first time you've met the family of one of your lovers. No. No. But, um, it's the first time I've done so in court. All right, fair. Yeah. I can understand that. Especially considering, uh, the vast majority of them really like the... Yes. Him. Yes, I'm yes, not they really do. like I don't even know enough to fake it, Blondie. Like if they ask me to go and like pray or whatever. Uh I'm sure that we can come up with an excuse. Okay, because as it is, I'm gonna probably have to spend an, two fucking hours bringing red back, so uh Mm -hmm. Shit. Because I don't... Well, I mean, that can be your excuse. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take other people two hours, though, is the thing. Well, I don't know. We'll I'll think of something. <sighs> if anything else, we can rope Leona in. She's very good at these courtly yeah, issues. I'll just, let, I'll, I'll just let Sunshine talk. Maybe I'm mute. Maybe I'm mute. Maybe I can't use words. Hmm. I think that that will not go well for you. There's too many people who have already seen you talk. And as well as Ray, who will almost certainly be there, will want to talk to you and will be like, Kestra, why aren't you talking? I'll just glare um, holes into, the, into like, like through his skull. It's fine. He's got a pretty he'll, thick he'll, skull. He'll catch... <laughs> 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 Shit. Okay. All right. Shit. Let me take your mind off of this. Yeah, and right. that is where we go to Leona and Ray. Leona, Ray did not come in until three o'clock in the morning from his talks with the King Theo. And when he did, he fell right to sleep. Okay. As Dawn's early light comes filtering in through the windows, double-paned windows of Asmarin's keep, Ray still sleeps somewhat soundly. Well, I'm an early riser. Um, so I'll probably Normally sleep. so is he, but yeah. So I will um I was uh I probably was trying to stay up for him, kind of, but it was one of those like I'm falling like she was she fell asleep trying to, but it was like, you know, start awake. Is he here? Is he here? No. Okay, I'm gonna stay awake. 
and then yeah and that just kept happening um so in the morning um it's probably that you know when you like don't really want to wake up because you like don't have to but you're not really tired and you're not really sleeping but like you don't want to move that <laughs> um eventually though um she uh, i will get up and i'll go do some prayings some as you get up stuff. As you get up, you feel a hand kind of just grab your arm. No, come back to bed. It's too early. Um, I think we have very different definitions of early, which is strange, but I'll get back in bed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm just going to Kind of curl up beside him. Um, uh, probably um, holding his hand. Um, What's on your mind? I'm going to miss mornings like these. So am I. I'll kind of sit up so I can look at him. Um, he is exhausted. You see the dark circles under his eyes. Still kind of hot, lean and gaunt cheeks from when uh, when he had, when he was cursed by the dagger. <laughs> It's like, it's been a really great time. It's been a great year. For Ray, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Are you going to forget about me when I'm gone? Find some other dashing prince. Do you know of any? You're funny. I think so. Mm-hmm. I could never forget you, Arreo. What about you? Are you going to forget about me? I am going to be surrounded by men who think that. <gasps> Goodness. <laughs> who think that they know better than me, which they probably do. Oh. Women have had a historically hard time getting promoted. So, um, not that I've ever, I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish with this conversation, Leona, I'm quite tired. The point is, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that there is no one in the world who can replace you for me. You are the sunshine of my endless night. Should tell Kesra that. She'll think you stole it from her. Oh, your nickname. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to keep these kinds of conversations between me and you, <laughs> or else listen to the sound of her hawking. It's fair. You know, if you ever need me, truly need me, I will find my way to you. I know. But I get the feeling that you and Kasra and maybe some others that you find along the way will be just fine. So you do know that if you ever need anything, we can find our way to you. Yes. If I ever need to storm another castle, 
or we're, all, we're obviously very good at it or find a camp that is infested with spiders we maybe won't do that again i hope leona um i need to tell you something Okay. It's all kind of one big thing. Um, what I'm trying to say is that I am accepting the offer to dethrone the Empress. And if I do so successfully, but I have signed a treaty with Asmarin and Wolfcrest, that will recognize them as independent nations. Okay. But if I fail, I will most certainly be dead. Well then I guess you better not fail. <laughs> you don't say. I might need you... Well, ideally. Leona, I don't want... <laughs> I never wanted this life. I know it's kind of... pithy of me to say. But I don't... I didn't ask for this. I was just born to the wrong person, the right person. And... I was raised with the knowledge that one day, when my mother died, that I would take over for her and... Staging this coup against someone who's pretended to be her is fine, but I also... I want to rescue her. I need- I get that. <laughs> I need to go to the Hells and get her, but I don't think it's appropriate time to do that until Apollyon or whoever is pretending to be my mother is gone. It's entirely possible that she will no longer want to be Empress when she returns. It's entirely possible I... that she win. It's a lot of unknowns. There is one thing that I do know. When all is said and done, I want you by my side. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Good. But that requires you not to fall in love with any, every dashing prince that you meet. Well, I will let you know if I run across any, but I'm not too worried about it. You shouldn't be either. All right. We're gonna be okay. Yes. Yes, we will. As long as you and Kasra have each other. You give him a kiss. Evan and Annalena are in another room. <laughs> Evan, you are not an early riser. <laughs> no. Sweet boy. Um, but you do wake up before Anna. And when you do, you get to see her for the first time. Her brown hair, which was long into her waist, is cut shorter, maybe to her shoulders. It's thin. Um, the dark circles under her eyes are alarming, as is her weight loss. She has clearly not has, had an easy time as a Roman Kentigern's prisoner for the last few months. But when she wakes up feeling you stir and opens her dark green eyes, you see the light in them. 
Good morning. <laughs> Would it be too cliche of me to say that I thought this was all a dream? No, no, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Kind of wild, huh? I, I didn't think we'd make it out. <laughs> then why did you come? You could have I don't think I had a choice. You know? If I didn't go and rescue you just as soon as I possibly could, how am I supposed to live with myself? I'm really glad that we made it out. I'm really, really glad that the first thing I got to see this morning was you. God, it sure beats whatever woodland animal is nipping at my reserves. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what happened? Because the last I saw you, Roman Kentigan had... Yeah. And... Yeah. We rode away. What have you been doing? What have you, what have you, were you dead the whole time? No, I have so many no. questions. I've been back for, uh, geez, what's it been? A couple months now? Uh, yeah. I wanted to come sooner. I really did. Um, but the person who helped me, Jono says, stalling for time, looking for his notes, Boros. Boros uh, did not, he was not happy uh, whenever I talked about getting out. He did not want me to leave. And uh, he's probably very angry right now. Oh God, Evan but... Harper, I swear to Saren Ray, okay. you are infuriating. Yeah, kind of my thing. I've noticed. Listen, I mean, what's what now? You you go back to Boros. Boros is that his name? Yeah, that was his. <sighs> you know, I really hoped you wouldn't ask that question. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, what do you do when you have everything you want? Like, I don't know. I don't want to go back. I owe them, I mean, my life. But I can't just go back. That's... But they obviously want something from you, don't they? For bringing yeah. you back. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of talk about great evils and uh a mad lich king you know pretty pretty standard fare but is it <laughs> i used to be dead who knows oh my God. <laughs> but i can't just go back like what's the point of bringing me back if i'm just going to be a tool and not in the way I'm usually a tool, like a, a pawn, whatever. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not right. And I think we all kind of know that. I miss So I think for, I miss you too. I think for a little bit, Boros can wait. Well, I would be useful, or useless. I would be useless there. I can press the digitation with the rest of them, but <laughs> without a spell book, I'm useless. Well, that sounds like we got to find you a spell book, huh? <laughs> we can probably find one around here. Yeah. I, uh, never really been much for library hopping but I your know, eyes yes. do light up whenever you find a good book <sighs> come on it'll be fun. fun i can find ones with pictures Evan Hopper, you're talking about fun right right now yeah why not we made it out alive 
Roman is not a problem right now. You're out of that castle. I'm not dead. Let's have some fun. Let's go do something stupid. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Let's go. The morning. Just so. Yeah. So the morning begins to dip. Do you all go find some food? Question mark? Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I'm giving all my bacon to Kesra. Oh, I accept happily. At your <clears throat> leisure, there is a long dining hall that is sort of like a buffet breakfast where you can just come and sit wherever you want. It's maybe um, eight si- or eight chairs on, on each side, two at the end. Um... Who would be the first to enter, do you think? Ray and Leona. If Ray, whenever Ray gets up, sure. Okay. Ray and, Le- Ray and Leona enter, you find King Theo of Asmarin. Oh, I'll okay, cut see. <laughs> Ray does not. Wait, are foreign? Kings and stuff supposed to bow to each other? I always forget. I believe they do give some form of obeisance, but I'm not sure if it's like the full bow thing. He gives some form of obeisance. I will curtsy like the lady I am. Leona, you instantly are... You have not felt quite at home in a long time like you do right now in a court. Time out. How far away from me is him? How, How far away from... <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> How far away is he from me? <clears throat> Wait, no, really. How far away from... Oh. He's last. It's okay. You said it. He's allowed. He's the last one on. Sorry, How... I was typing and it did a thing. How far away is the king? How far me? do you want him to be? You've got a whole oh, table. Oh. Where would you like to sit? I would like to sit near him. Would you Did like to sit next up? to him? Yes, he does oh, stand up s- as you enter. Oh, well, if I sit beside him. He's the only one in the hall right now. Oh, great. I'm going to give him a hug. <laughs> you rush up and, and very quick, after, very after quick. your curtsy, go in for yeah, the hug. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, it's good to see there's you. There's like a oof, like oof noise. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, all right. <laughs> He'd like genuinely bounce your back. Miss Leona. It's good to see you. It is quite good to see you as well. How is your wife? Annoyed, as usual. Oh. I'm so sorry. Congratulations. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> he and Ray shake hands. And Ray sits down next to you. I'll hold his hand under the table. Oh. Um, next. Next in. Next in is a older gentleman in his. Let's see. Uh, I would probably say this gentleman looks like he is in his late 50s, early 60s. Um, salt and pepper hair that's like mostly coiffed. Qu- qu- quaffed is that the word, Morgan? Quaffed. Quaffed. It looks like quaffed, okay? <laughs> um, uh, he is in pretty fine, uh, fine clothing. Um, lots of blues and golds, um, but somewhat muted. Um, he is definitely you would recognize very clearly a man of old money. Some sort of lord, you would imagine. Uh, And as he enters, he gives a a deep bow to King Theo and another bow to Oreo. He comes across the table and extends a hand to you to shake. Yeah. Hello, I am Lord Godfrey. Lightbringer. Oh. 
I'll stand up. Uh, and shake his hand. I'm the owner Swift Silver. Pleasure. Yeah. And I'll sit back down. <laughs> he and the king exchange a few not quite secretive conversations, just felt like a light kind of quick banter back and forth, and he sits um, a few seats basically across from Ray. Um, and not that much long after comes Alexander and Kesra. Alexander and Kesra, you enter the hall to find Aurea, King Thigo, Leona, and Godfrey Lightbringer. Um, Lord, I will go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Lord Godfrey does stand when he sees his uh, one of his youngest sons. Ah, there they are. I'll come in and give a deep bow, your majesties. Oh, give a real awkward bow afterwards. It's all, everyone is amused. Great. <laughs> Alexander. Uh, brother. And who is your guest? Ah, uh, this is uh, Lady Kestrel Sandavaran. Yeah, yes. Well met. He'll shake your hand. Firm handshake. Most people call me Kestrel these days. Uh, Lord. Let's move on to the handshake. Very well. It's a it's a pretty firm handshake. It's not like he's not like being a douche and trying to like you know squeeze the shit out of you like some guys do. Mm. Shit's oh, annoying. Yeah. I'm solid. I'm solid. You do see a pennant of Paler hanging. A very very um muted pendant of Paylor hanging from his neck. Where do y'all sit? Um. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think here of the social graces. I assume King Theo is at the head of the table. Mm-hmm. And then Ray is to his right. Leona's to his right. Leona's There's an empty right. seat to his left, and then your father. Okay. Uh, then I would sit between my father and then and Kesra further down okay. the table. Sure. Okay. Begin to Kesra, there's plenty of bacon. So much bacon. God, All of the good. bacon. I to prevent myself from saying anything exceptionally stupid, uh, I will be, no, I will be, instead of shoveling, I will be chewing very thoroughly every piece <laughs> of bacon. So that if anyone ever tries to speak to me, my mouth is full and they'll have to wait. But then I forget and eat another piece of bacon. My mouth is still full. So they'll have to Evan, wait. you have a reroll. Just let me let you know. All right. The doors on the far side open, and um, a the hall is graced by a presence of a um, an older lady. Um, she could be anywhere from early forties to mid fifties. She has a beaming smile on her face, um, very long blonde hair that is uh, thick and wavy, um, and it's the top is like pulled back to keep out of her face. And she is dressed in very simple clothes. Um, but there are there is a simple similar theme with her as with Lord Godfrey Lightbringer. Uh, Kesra, you immediately recognize her because she is the spitting or well, at least Alexander is the spitting image of her. She has a beaming smile. Oh finally he's home Hello, Mother. Oh, Alexander, it's so good to see you. I go in and give her a big hug. Yeah, she comes over, she comes, you hear her, her feet carry her quickly across the stone floor, and she, when, without you even getting up, she just wraps her arms around you and gives you a big <laughs> kiss on the forehead. Kind of touch her arm. Um, how have you been, Mother? Oh, I've been so well. <laughs> Keeping very busy. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> And, um, and she gives a, a bow to both the kings. 
uh, and takes her seat next to her husband. She looks all across the table. Leona. Oh, you must be Leona Swift Silver. I'm so sorry. That's Camille. You must be Leona Swift Silver. Hi. Hi. I'm Catherine. It's lovely to meet you. And Lord Godfrey goes, Dame Catherine Lightbringer. <laughs> it's just Catherine. Really? <sighs> and she gently touches Theo's hand. She's quite a bit older than Theo. You get there's a, like, there's a pretty much a maternal bond going on there as well. Um, by the way, Theo is only in his, like, late 30s. He's not, he's not that old. And that... So I'm hearing handsome. Yeah. Oh, he is. Dashing. <laughs> Beautiful. Ray, I found one. I swear to God. I'll give his hand a squeeze. <laughs> he's a king, not a prince, bish. Um, That's even better. Oh, God, get out. <laughs> He's married. She's, yeah, he's married. He is married. So. Happily, I think, even though she's irritated, I, I just kind of want to tell. <laughs> That's when we see Annalyn and Evan enter. What does this hall smell like? Food. Meat. Cool. Lots of fruit. Lots of, just love, but no, just an abundance. Um, I just turned to Lena. Hey, do you think anyone's going to judge me if I take just a fuck ton of pastries? <laughs> and then I look around and I see everyone else in attendance and I go, oh shit, royalty. A shit ton of pastries. Sorry. Hi, good morning. Um, do I... And I like bow really badly. Um, For someone who was raised in the court, you're still really fucking awkward. It's amazing. Uh, he's really... Yeah. Um... And I'm just, once I feel like those uh, necessary social graces have been completed, it's just a beeline to the food. Yeah, Ray will, um, like, give you a wave, and if you come by, he'll, like, you know, you'll, you'll, the pat shoulder thing, like, the bro acknowledgement, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Evan, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. here's, me, here's some pastries. Thanks. I wasn't, I didn't want to ask, but, um, and I shove an entire croissant in my mouth like I'm a cartoon character. Uh, it takes several seconds. Uh, so much better. Hi, uh, my name's Evan. I bow properly this time. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you all for letting us stay here. Super appreciated. I'm gonna keep eating pastries now, and I find the first uh, open set of two seats, and I continue to eat pastries. Uh, uh, Lana sits by her brother, and uh, uh, gestures. Get over here. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. It's it's really obvious. I think I'd like drop a French toast on the way over um, and just, you know, what can you do? Casualties of war. What can you do? Um, interestingly enough, the next few people who enter are people that you all recognize from the dungeons. You see, Ekaterina Nezevic. Hey, who did it? Um, who is still, you have no idea what she looks like because she wears a golden crowned veil over her, over her head. A very, tra um, very traditional looking garb. Although it's n not anything that any of you have seen before. Um, she is not from this continent. Uh, you also see Mira enter. Looking a bit cheapish. Uh, with the normally solemn younger sister looking a bit sheepish in front of her uh, parents and brother as her and her monks take seats at the table. Um, the last to enter, wielding an uneven gait as the clank of metal and then foot and then metal and then footstep is Andromeda Skyseeker. You all remember that she is a young, uh, she is an Asimar of undeterminable age with um, long shock white hair clouded over eyes, uh, one mechanical arm and one mechanical leg. And she is, um, she's obviously bathed and cleaned herself up and is 
dressed in very plain um, garbs of a dress of, of deep, deep red, which y'all know is a actually a traditional color of the empire. And she's the last to enter, and she uh, um, unseeingly somehow acknowledges the entire room, even though her milky eyes make it very clear that she is blind, takes a seat. Uh, at the end, not at the end, but uh, next to the end. And you are all free to have breakfast. Ah... Well, it's good to be back in Asmarin. It's been a while. We've quite missed you, son. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to stay for at least a little while. I will need to get back to Wolfcrest um, soon, I assume. Yes, the Grey Mistress has been telling us that you are invaluable to her, her efforts. <laughs> I am trying to make myself useful. Very well. Mira, how are you faring? Oh, um, I'm fine. What were you doing there, Mira? She looks at some of the other monks who were with her. All of them are just like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were on a diplomatic mission to from Rai Shah to the capital, and... Well, when we were introduced to the Empress, one of us noticed something was a little off and asked a few too many questions, and I think that she got suspicious and threw us in the dungeon, as really, that's the short of it. Um, but we're obviously fine. Th those of us who are here, obviously. Did you lose many? Three. I'm sorry. Thank you. One of them speaks up. Your old sister. Um, he's got very dark skin, um, wide features across his face. Completely bald. Your sister behave, uh, acted bravely. I'm sure she did. And he turns to her appearance. You should be proud. Seems to be a common uh, trait in the Lightbringers. Well, we get it drilled into us from a very young age. <laughs> Do we? Did Xanalor leave? No, he has not entered yet. Okay. Shut up. Or he's not entered. Period. Okay. Guess I was just chowing down. Leona, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm probably having a conversation with anybody who will have a conversation with me. I will keep glancing down towards, um, Andromeda. It seems like every time you look down at her, she is also looking at you, which is strange because she can't see. You will all also notice that Elden is also missing. I will at some point turn to Ray. Where's Elden? Um. Oh fuck! He told me where he was going this uh, last night. Um. I think to go speak to, ah, yes, um, there are some city guard who are under the, um, not city guard, crowns guard, who are currently imprisoned here, and he is going to check and speak to some of them. Okay. Maybe consider, um, talking to the quartermaster and seeing if we can have them released. He'll be back. Oh, I know. Mm. 
I think it's at about this time, unless, sorry, unless there's anything else you had. I think it's at about this time that, like, after a bite of pancake, Evan looks around and is like, Hey, wasn't Valentin with you guys last night? Yes, he was. Ray speaks up. He, um, he departed. Oh, damn, I liked him. Me too. But when he is needed, he will come back. Yeah, that uh, seems to be a pattern with him. Was he doing okay? Yes, uh, I think so. Okay, yeah. I just know I was looking around the castle before we were going in, and uh, I don't know what was going on there, but it was not normal and not good, and I can only imagine that that's got to be really difficult for someone in his position. Yes. Yes. Uh, there's kind of a bit of a, a bit of tension. You see, not it's not that there's tension between people, but there's like a tension about the room as you notice. It's, it's like one of those things where people are not sure how much to say. <laughs> King Theo stands and you watch as every Asmarin citizen also just rises. No, no. Sit, I'm just full and I have many obligations today. I take my leave. I will meet with some of you later. Regards. And he, um, you know, upright, shock white hair, exits the room. The morning is yours. I would say at the end of breakfast, um, towards the end of breakfast, I would after many almost awkward moments of eye contact, noticing each other, I would probably um, excuse myself to the other end of the table. Okay. You see Andromeda is kind of has separated herself from everybody sitting at the far end of the table, kind of not really speaking to anybody, just enjoying a very quiet breakfast. And as you approach, she gives you a smile. Hi, Liana. I didn't mean to be rude. How do I know if it's you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your aura is unmistakable. Oh. Do you mind if I join you? Have a seat. How are you doing? Better. Thank you. How are yes. you? Okay. Good. That sounds quite assuring. I I think I'm doing good. Well. Mm-hmm. She takes a piece of strawberry. Spit it out. So, you are an oracle. That's what I'm told, yes. You see things. I... not actually, I'm blind. You... you... See the future. Yes. And visions. Yes. Granted to me from the divine. Yes. Yes. And... So... When you have visions, I, um, I was told when, um, um, when I first realized that I could see things and do things that everything came at a price and I get that a little bit more every time, um, but is there a way I don't know I've only tried to do it a few times where I was looking for something specific 
and other times when they just came to me. But... But? I don't know. I don't know, part of me says, well, there's a lot that's coming and a lot that is going to happen, or might happen, may happen, could happen, and knowing what it could look like could be really great. But then other times you might try to look and it isn't really helpful and you get sent to this dark abyss place and it's terrifying. And I don't... Leon, I, hmm. what did you just say? I, uh, I said a lot. <laughs> You're sent where? Some dark abyss place. Give you know, your... it was like a void. And I thought, give me your hand right now. Okay, I'll do so. She pulls out a dagger. Oh my God. And slices your hand open. <gasps> okay. Um. And then puts her hand over yours. Okay. Uh-huh. Everyone is watching. Yeah, I was going to ask if I noticed. Uh, yeah, you notice. A little bit of scone falls out of my mouth. Um. Ow. Andromeda goes silent. Dead silent. So does everyone at the table. It becomes almost awkward. Almost. Not Almost. Quite. You were in the abyss. You were actually in the abyss. When she pulls her hand away, your hand is healed. There's no blood. I'm sorry, she was where? The Abyss, Kesra. <laughs> I can give you all sorts of information on it if you'd like. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there for very long. Your heart has a pull. A mark of corruption. A pull to the abyss. Every oracle has an unfathomable, wild connection to the weave. And every oracle pays for that connection. Everyone pays for it differently, depending on what triggered their latent oracle powers. Mine, she waves her mechanical arm and it whirs a little bit as it goes, claims my flesh. Yours pulls you to the abyss. I mean, it's only happened once. Usually I just lose my voice for a few days. Sometimes in the beginning, oracles, curses can look like different things while it's manifesting. It's possible that the that was only an early penalty. So... Are you saying that if I try to do that again, I'm going to go to the abyss? I am saying... That if you attempt to tap into the weave and you do not do so carefully with a bit of luck, you could lose your mind. Indefinite madness. Oh. However, as an oracle, you will be granted visions. They may not always pertain to your personal life. They may not always make sense. But sometimes you will receive them and you will not pay that price. But should you go deeper, should you force a vision, each time there is a risk. Well, 
that's great news. She oh, leans in and says something that only you can hear. It will kill you. Very soon. Leonis with silver. Would you give it up? These powers, the visions. Um, this is, um, <laughs> can we, if you'll excuse us, I'm going to stand up. This is not a conversation I want to have in front of anybody else. She will stand. Take a strawberry with her. Follow you wherever you lead. I'm just trying to get a little bit of space. Yeah, so. sure. There is, as you exit this room, there is, um... An, uh, an entryway into something like a den of sorts where there is a large balcony that overlooks the gardens. Onward to the balcony. She doesn't say that. I say that. <laughs> so. What is it? I know... When Amy first told me about all of this, she made it very clear that it was a choice. But I didn't realize I would have a choice to take it back. Not yet. But one day you will have a choice. When? I don't know everything. You know quite a bit, though. Sometimes I can make sense of what I see, other times I cannot. For example, sometimes I have nightmares about a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse that never ends. Whole Generations live, are born, live and die under the solar eclipse. No light, no dark. It's maddening. But no matter how hard I try, I cannot go deeper. I've had nightmares of the nine hells and the prime material plane combined as one. With all mortals shackled and endless lines of torture and torment. There are things that I do not see, though. I did not see Ektiarn's death. Would you give it up? see her face soften. <laughs> yes. To live a normal life with the one that I... To have a chance at having a family or... <sighs> you know him. He shares your blood. How old is she? Do I know? You guess she's probably at least 80. Although she looks like she's in her early 30s. Such as the Asmar way. Did you hear we were referring to? Soren. 
It was me who sent him to you. All that time ago. It was you? Yes. <laughs> you saved us. I mean, Soren technically yes. saved us, but you sent him, so it's kind of you. You you saved us. I had a terrible nightmare of the tieflings. Maudie and misery. I saw you all die in hurling flames. Yeah. I found Soren. I found his dreams, and I sent him to you. I knew you were his sisters. You don't say that to Kethra. They're not there. He knew you were sisters too. When he met you. He knew? He asked me if he'd found them. But why he knew. Didn't, why didn't he say anything? Maybe you weren't ready. That was a lot I wasn't ready for when I left Ilvinus. If you gave up the visions, if you gave up this gift, or if you had, we would all be dead. And that is a price that I would pay. And that is a Something that you must grapple with. Because you will get the choice. And you know what it will... What it will cost. You know the lives that you could save. But it's different for me. I've been an oracle for a very long time. And you have a very bright future ahead of you. Your aura is torn. It's like like you're being pulled into two different directions. Do you have any idea what those two directions are? Darkness and light. As enlightening as this conversation has been, it is not quite as comforting as I was hoping. What would you do if you knew that? You could save lives, but you would lose your own. What if you knew that your soul was forfeit? Promised. I don't know. I mean, I think I know. I thought I knew. I 
I don't know if I could live with myself if I didn't do everything I could to help someone. At what cost? I mean, everything has a cost, so... Leona. I have to go right now. You should speak to your father. Oh, uh, okay. I think you will see your mother, too, soon. I'm not sure. Um... It's a little confused. I I need to go lay down. You see the color is draining from her face very quickly. Would you like would you like me to walk you? No. She walks away. And that is where we're going to take a really quick break. We'll be back shortly. Welcome to our Patreon. Here on Open for Adventure, we are making high quality Dungeons and Dragons content, folks. We have a great big world to share with you. And by becoming a patron, you can help us explore and expand upon this adventure. With your support, we can invest in more amazing artwork, better mics, fancy cameras, and overall stream quality. Not to mention, help us get some amazing new merch that we can use for giveaways. What do you get by becoming a patron? I'm so glad you asked. Let's take a look at the different levels and give you a sneak peek at what you can get at each tier. Did you know that the family of the First Lord Theo, the leader of the Rebellion Against the Empire, actually invented firearms nearly 25 years prior to the current campaign. The designs for this high-tech weapon are the Delaney family's best kept secret. Also, they were originally invented by the late First Lady Victoria, Theo's mother. Access to lore leaks like this is what you can expect from the first tier, written in blog-style posts after each weekly session. Ever wonder what goes on off camera? The next three tiers give you exactly with stolen moments, you can get access to text-based roleplay moments, highlighting experiences that don't make it onto the stream, like Leona's training session with Ray and Asmara. Stolen Moments Plus gives you access to roleplay moments featuring our guests, non-player characters, and historical figures, featuring the likes of Marshall, Annalena, and even the Empress herself. And Roleplay Addiction takes us to a whole other level. This tier gives you exclusive 30 minute videos of canon interactions not otherwise seen on stream, like late night drunken interactions between paladins or tender moments featuring your favorite character ships. The insider scoop is where things start to get serious. This gives you access to private live streams of me doing plot, setting, and encounter planning for the entire Open for Adventure universe, including the offline game that I run in the same realm. This might be me setting up for a big battle, or maybe coming up with some new non-player characters. Here's where you can interact with me directly, and possibly influence not only the upcoming streams, but the entire setting as well. The Warm Fuzzies is super simple. It's everything I've listed so far, and also you get your name on stream after our weekly regular sessions. Every session. And our Undying Love. Hence the Warm Fuzzies. And finally, the most epic of all Patreon tiers. Drum roll, please. The Loremaster. This ultimate and final tier gets you first look access at all of the content going into our upcoming, official, open for adventure campaign setting. Lore, maps, monsters, items, dungeons, dragons. Hey. So, go ahead. Have a look around, 
make yourself at home, and consider becoming a patron to help us make this fantasy world a little bit closer to reality. Hello! Welcome back to Open for Adventure, where everything is light and casual. We're just having a really good time. 
It's fine. Evan, can you say something? Perfect! Okay, so, is there anything that y'all would like to do? Is there anything you would like to accomplish during this breakfast? Yeah. There we go. It's an easy fix. It's only been like two weeks. It's fine. I mean, it's kind of real. <laughs> Is there anything that y'all would like to accomplish during this was breakfast? Broken. Um, very, uh, I am doing my uh, level best to not engage in conversation with anyone. Um, my I am nobody filters are on maximum. At this point, and why don't I... you make a performance check to see how well you do at this? <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's plus three, it's not the worst. That's a 14. Lady, um, or Dame Lightbringer, Dame Catherine, does attempt to engage you. Bleeped out something. Uh, does attempt to engage you in conversation, however. You deftly kind of dodge out of the way. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> I pretty quickly flip the conversation over to Alexander. No, no, you talk to your mother. Here you go. Yeah. That's, that's it. Um, Sorry. I'm, I'm definitely kind of conversing with uh, my parents some. Uh, I mean, Mira's f far enough down the table. I'm probably not talking with her a, a, a whole, whole lot. Um, uh, but I'm probably... Uh, every time Kesra tries to, like, social judo it away from her, I'm I'm probably like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing. And I'm probably flipping it back to her every now and then. Like you know, she 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 doubts the questions, and, I'm, and and I start talking. Like, well, that reminds me of, we were um, we were up in the, uh, what's what's the name of those, mountains? But far up north, past Wolfcrest, um, the White Cliff Mountains. Like, oh uh, yes, yes, the White Cliffs, and um, we had had quite the day looking for a. Uh, looking for, we had just had to cross a frozen river and um, we were all arguing about what we should do. Uh, we had been told that we shouldn't rest, but um, we, we, felt, we felt the need to, to rest a little bit. Um, and in our, in our indecision, um, we were attacked. And I have to say it was one of the most impressive uses of uh, paladin abilities I've ever seen on Kesra's part. What, what, what was that you? What was that you did, Kestra? Your paladin. Do you serve a particular sauce? <coughs> I. You know, Blondie, I hadn't really, uh, hadn't really thought about that, and you know, I don't really remember what exactly happened. We all got out, though. That's the important part. You are a paladin, though. Correct? Technically speaking, yes. Very she good. Serves, she serves Paylor quite courageously. Does she? How is this now just coming up in conversation? Oh, She's that's just very wonderful. Modest. Oh, that's lovely. Alexander, I'm surprised that you didn't mention that earlier. Uh, I'm sorry. I uh, I thought that you. I had, I, had, I, had, I was. I would assume that uh, Araya would have maybe told you about our our dear dear friend Kestra and whatever debriefing might have been happening last night. Oh no, we were discussing other matters. Hmm. Kestra, mm -hmm. um, how long have you been in? 
Are you a part of a formal brigade or? Nope. Nope. Um, very, um, very informal. A lone rider, I see. Commendable. Yeah, yes. Thank, thank, thank you. It's fine. Yep. You know, I never would have noticed. Or I never would have realized. Uh, I mean, you certainly look like you can hold your own in a fight. Thank you. I, I, um, like to keep it low-key. I see. Towards, towards the, uh, the more subtle differences. I see. Well, you're more than welcome to come to the temple anytime. Although... Not everyone is, um, the temple type, if you know what I mean. I think I do. I actually was raised in the church. I was orphaned, and a kind woman took me in, and I was just brought up, much like our dear friend Miss Zytharia Kelcrest was with the Raven Queen. Wonderful. Now, Sandavarin, that's... That's a name often given to those who do not know their parents. You are correct. Honey, don't pry. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry. Apologize. Excuse me. Just... Well, Alexander hasn't exactly had many guests in the past. <laughs> To be fair, that's, this is very true. I have, I have not brought many people back to Asmarin. You'll have to forgive us. <laughs> it's fine. Nope, it's, it's fine. Honey, is Apollo joining us? No, um, no, I don't think so. He's going to the, um, he's going to the Temple of the Raven Queen again. Again, really? Okay. How much time has he been spending there? Oh, you know he likes to visit Celestia's grave. Yes, of course. They are rather dour folk, though. I have to say, I do miss being here in Asmarin. Everything is quite <laughs> doom and gloom in Wolfcrest. Don't let Zaytharia hear you say that. Oh, I, I, I keep my distance from the from the Doomkeeper. Why? Oh, she's a delight. Have you all have you all met Doom Guide Zytharia Kelcrest? Yes. I no think she's title like that. I'd love to. Oh, she's a delight. Don't let her looks deceive you. She's a gentle soul. Terrifying. <laughs> well. Um, well, um, honey, I have to get back, um, but, uh, Alexander, it's so good to have you home. It's good to be home, Mother. Uh, hopefully we can catch up soon. Uh, Miss Katara, it's lovely to meet you, truly. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Harper? Your Majesty. So, yes. Evan and uh, Annalena, what are your plans for the day? We're going to go do something stupid. Oh, God, Evan, why do you have to say it out loud? <laughs> what, are do we Do something not? stupid. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I really don't know. He'll find perhaps something, can, don't worry. Perhaps I can give you some tips. Plenty of stupid things to get up to in Asmarin. I'd like that very much. Um, DM question. Do I recognize... When they were talking about the Raven Queen, does that name ring any bells? The Raven Queen, um, yes, she's the god of death in this, uh, in this world. She is strictly against undead. Um, very, a very mysterious figure. Not much is known about her past or how she became a deity or... Um, 
but her her clerics and paladins range from all kinds of lawful types um, to some chaotic as well. But the the trend is is that they are um, they are keepers of death, sentinels at death's door. Sometimes ushering people through, sometimes pulling them back from it, but always preserving the sanctity of life by hunting undead. That is what the Raven Queen and Paylor both have in common. So I want to do, do something just dumb beyond belief later. Um, Great. But if there's a Raven Queen temple in town, I should probably uh, check in because of, you know, Maybe find a couple answers there. Definitely. So, anything else that you would like to do during breakfast? So much has already happened and it's the beginning of the day. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Leona, are you coming back to the table at all? Um, I think I would take a moment to ponder, contemplate my life choices, um, and then yeah, I'll go back to the table. Okay. I'd say that like once the table's like starting to clear out and it's mostly just us, I would um, kind of look over the other. So it sounds like um, we need to change your language lessons. Ooh. To what? <laughs> like that was the first word in abyssal abyssal okay. if you're going to be sucked to the abyss you should at least know something about the place I mean I don't hope to go very often but okay but if I do go is... I can have I can make friends at least no no. No. Mm -mm. no. No, Leona. No. No, it's a place where you will want to threaten anything that comes close to you. You need to be the scariest as... thing. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Is it scarier when you know the language or you don't know the language? It's scarier when you know the language and you can insult them properly. Oh. Right. Okay. All right. Teach me. Well, I think we'll we'll hold off on it a little bit. It's not exactly polite uh, table conversation. It's a rather um, educational for everyone. <laughs> guttural language. Fine. That's all I got for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nope, I've had entirely too much socialization. My meter is full. I am done. I'm just slurping really loudly whenever anyone even looks in my direction. I'm going to stare at you until you run out of tea. That's rude. But I will. Evan and Annalena duck out. Would you like to visit the Temple of the Raven Queen? Yes. I want to do that first. Okay. That will require a change of music. <laughs> The Temple of the Raven Queen is made of a dark obsidian material. It stands like a stone pillar, circular, um, in the very center of Asmarin City of the Dead. The paths are marked with dark stone. Um, there are several several um, monoliths, tombstones, uh, even entire mausoleums in the City of the Dead. But the temple stands above all. A pillar of dark. It's early morning 
which contrasts directly with the aura of the City of the Dead. You see gravekeepers walking about, tending, uh, collecting dead flowers. Uh, a few bur burial services have already ended. You notice there are a couple places that, many places where the graves are freshly, freshly dug. And as you move about to the city, you are reminded that this is a civil war. There are riflemen and city guard um, marching about, going to and fro. You see zero crowns guard presence as this is it, the heart of the rebellion against the empire. On Elena, by your side, Evan, you approach the front doors. Sorry, this is uh, not quite the tone I was going for for today, but... It's clear you have something to do that you need to do, and I'll wait for you here. Okay. Um, yeah, I won't be long. Evan? Yeah? Will you say a prayer for the ones we've lost. Of course. Thank it's you. The least I can do. Thank you. And I go in. Okay. The inside is much brighter than you expect. It's not dull or drab. It's um, bright as if the walls of obsidian are somehow actually windows. It's clear that there's an enchantment. As you walk in um, through an archway, through dark mahogany doors, you are led into um, essentially a circular courtyard. And as you step into the courtyard, you can see the very center is an idol of the Raven Queen. And as you look up, it goes up several stories. In fact, this, the center of this pillar seems to be completely um, empty and there is a set of spiraling staircases that wind up the inside with corridors going off. It seems like you could look up forever here, all the way into the morning sky. Maybe 10, 15 stories high. A, um, a young woman who has silver hair um she's she's quite unique looking she's silver hair um white markings on her face underneath her eyes all the way down her nose and lip very pale skin dressed in gray robes hello how can i help you uh hi there um is this your first time here yeah just uh got some prayers to offer up thought it would be only right to take it to the source. Well, my name is Winter, and I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. Would you like me to take you to the altar? Yes, please. Uh, I don't know if there's like a, 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 a script or a format or a way you do this. Um, whatever way works best for you. She'll hear you. This way. She gently takes your arm and walks you um, around this idol uh, in the center, which is massive. It almost blocks your view. It blocks your view of the other side. And as you walk around it, you see the far side. Um, along the far wall is a mural of the Shadowfell of, um, of the Raven Queen of Laverna. Uh, and below it is a pool of blood that is in the shape of a semicircle. It is about five feet, uh, maybe I would say eight feet along the wall, and then it comes out into the semicircle. And uh, there is a ledge, and then it, it's, it seems to be like... I don't know if you've ever walked around some old countries, but they, they have those cisterns or the um, public water 
spaces and this is kind of what it looks like and you see that there is currently one person a halfling who is uh knelt at this uh at this altar she has curly black hair um and you just see the back of her and as you approach you watch a creature shift around to come and look at you it's the two bright eyes there's you would recognize a pseudo dragon And this, uh, this long, young, this halfling is just, you hear her mumbling very, very quickly to herself. Um, she probably doesn't realize she's talking out loud. Um, but she just says, and you know, I just, I just, um, I just want Zaythari to know that I really miss her and that I hope she's doing well. And Tana, I mean, it's been so long since we've seen each other, but you know, I wouldn't mind seeing her again, except for the times that I've seen her, I've been a Peril, perilous danger. Um, also, the storm wilds. Um, I know they're not really your thing, but um, you know, it's kind of a long walk to the Sanry Temple, and I have a broom, so I don't have to walk. But I'd really like to um, pray for them too, because they've been, you know, they've been alive a really long time. And I don't know if that upsets you or not, because you're the god of death. Um, but it's just. <sighs> hmm. This is nice. Sorry, don't let me interrupt you. Oh, no, I'm perfectly fine. Hi, how are you? I'm I'm Andy. I'm Evan. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, you, uh, praying and stuff. Oh, cool, me too. <sighs> yeah, yeah, just, um, and I kind of look around. She wasn't in the blood, was she? No. Okay, cool, because Evan was about to go in the blood, and, uh... Oh, no, 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 you don't have to go... Well, I mean, if you're, like, if you want to take communion, they've got, like, a pool for that, so, like, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I know the protocol and the way that these things are. Really? Um, yep, mm-hmm. Av Avid... Like a deception check? <laughs> it's fine, her insight's really low. Uh... I'm actually really good friends with the High Priestess of the Raven Queen. I haven't seen her in a long time, but we're still really good friends, because that's just how friendship works. Y yep, you're right. And um, I know that sometimes you can speak to the Raven Queen if you take communion. That's what she does. She comes out of her hair is all red. It's really gross, though. <laughs> Evan is actively biting his tongue in a holy space right now. Because um, he just... Oh, boy. Uh, is that, like, the only way... Or like if sometimes if you pray, will she just like respond without having to go into the blood? She's never like, actually responded to it. me, but it's probably because I'm a warlock. And <sighs> I'm an Archfey warlock, so I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> you could try. It's a scientific method. You try and We're gonna start with that, I think. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you want me to stay with you? Sure. Okay. Uh, and I awkwardly kind of kneel down hey um hi are you saying this out loud yeah okay just good. A little perfect bit. perfect um, hi um i don't know how to address you uh i've not really done this before andy takes out a um a journal a very a thick notebook and starts to write she's just watching you <laughs> um so, you watching over the line between life and death, all that cool stuff, um, and me having, at this point, I, I do look around and I see that Andy's in close proximity, and I just kind of... You're doing great! ...for my breath, uh, having died recently. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we were cool, uh, I guess. Like... It would be great not to be considered an abomination. Um, and also, if there's like anything you would know about greater purpose, I guess, uh, if, uh, if you're looking for a reason why you came back to life, uh, the goddess of death is probably the person to ask. Um, just let me know. I'll be here. 
sincerely yours, Evan Harper. I... <laughs> and I just wait there for a moment, I think. Do you hear anything? No. Okay, um... There are towels here, yeah? Oh, there's like a different room for that! Okay, even better, great. It's like a whole uh, other space. Oh. Oh, Miss Winter, Winter! <laughs> hi, hi, it's Megan, hi! Yes, <laughs> how can I help you? Oh, I think, I think that this young man wants to take communion. Yeah. Yeah, oh. let's try it. Okay, well, um, you know, let's, why not? <laughs> can I come, please? Can I, please? Mr. Harper, can I come? Uh, sure, I would just sure, love to take sure. notes. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <gasps> okay. Yeah. She pulls out a broom and she just follows you. <laughs> oh, God, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have no idea what I've gotten myself into uh, in and out of character. And I like that. Mm -hmm. Winter takes you up. Uh, you see, beside this altar of sorts, um, as the mural ends, staircases, the staircases begin. And you actually said that there are two staircases that spiral kind of around each other so that you don't... There seems to be one for up and one for down. You know, there must be order in this place. You are led... Uh, Andy, hovering beside you, she's just blabbering about how she's been here for two hours and she loves this place and just the architecture is incredible. And I don't even know how they do the staircases. Honestly, this must have taken a lot of transmutation magic. Do you think they had wizards doing this? Do you think it was clerics? I don't know. It's just, just nonstop. And you see the pseudo dragon just kind of <sighs> beside her. He. The pseudo dragon uh, curls about her shoulders, is almost as long as her wingspan. Um, seem to be regarded regarding you carefully, but as they've noticed that you are not a threat to this person, to their warlock, then he has apparently gone to sleep. Uh, you are able to kind of tune out her blathering as you her gibberish, her constant talk as uh, this halfling, bless her heart, Andy. Um, Winter leads you up to the third floor, where there is a door, a double door. Uh, and you hear her rap on it. And it swings open. And this room is dimly lit. You're a half-elf, so you can see pretty well. Um, there are two sconces on either side of the square room. In the very center is a large, probably 20-foot um, diameter pool of what looks to be black ichor, but the closer you get, you realize it's actually a crimson red. Um, there are two attendants who stand at the sconces, stand underneath the torches. Um, and there are shells behind them that contain black towels and other linens. Uh, winter closes the doors behind you and the lights grow dimmer. Um, do I just put one of those on? There are robes, um... There's a small changing station in the back. And you look in the back, there is basically a wall that you can go behind and change mm -hmm. if you need to. Um, you've never done this before, correct? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty new. All right, well, go in, you go in, you get changed into one of those robes, and when you come back, you um, will take communion, which requires you to enter the pool entirely okay yeah that's cool all right once you do 
the Raven Queen may or may not choose to receive you. If she does, you'll know. Thanks. Uh, and I go, I grab one of the robes and I go behind the screen, I put it on, I come back and it kind of you know, just almost instinctually, I go to just dip a toe in the pool first. It's warm. But you don't know if that's worse or better. I was about to say, I'm not sure how comforting that is. Okay. And I'd look around back at winter, just, just in. Okay. And I take the first couple of steps in tentatively. You take one step and then you cannot see, obviously, through this, but you take your, as you take your third step, it, you go all the way down. Where do you go? Uh, there's just a, a moment of panic because um, not... I was expecting there to be a step. Definitely not. But uh, no, I, I surface for a second and I the like, gasping breath of air was not expecting that. <sighs> Take a second. It's definitely difficult to tread water or tread blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to tread in this viscous fluid. Once I have uh, a breath of air, just look around, I kind of give uh, Winter a thumbs up and just attempt to dive down. Andy, you're doing great! <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, here goes nothing. Okay. And down I go. What's your constitution modifier? I believe plus three, plus three. Okay, so you can hold your breath for three minutes. Do you go lower? Do you stay? That you do not seem to feel a bottom. I think I go just shallow enough so that there's enough room to move in all directions, um, or it's just deep enough so there's enough room to move in all directions, but. I don't think I'm going to be constantly swimming towards a bottom. Okay. The first minute goes by very quickly. Uh, and you feel your lungs start to tighten. Your ears are dull. Uh, you cannot see. If you try to open your eyes, it stings, it burns. Uh, but you definitely feel... Um, pulled, almost not pulled, but gravity versus buoyancy, you are f being pulled downwards more than you're being pulled upwards. You feel yourself slowly continuing to sink as the second minute ticks by. Now your lungs are burning. You see some bubbles from your nose. Well, you don't see them, but you feel a bit of air leave your nose. And the robe that you've put on is sobbing and heavy and weighing. The third minute happens and you start to drown. Immediately. Just so, try to propel myself up. Before so hold on. There's there's gonna be a moment yeah. where your body is going to try and expel the air. Do you let that happen or do you go up before that happens? No, once I feel I can't do it anymore, uh, I'm on my way up. Okay. You come back up and you surface. <gasps> How did it go? I don't think she wants guests today. How do you know? Uh, well, I was down there for a while and... Oh, wow, air is nice. You um, see, um, winter is right behind you. She's kind of kneeling, and you see her gray robes. There is a little bit of, of blood now from the pool um, that's kind of stained her robes. Are you sure you stayed as long as you could? Yeah, there. I didn't have any air. Uh, it, 
Oh god, is that the point? Okay. Oh jeez, okay. Um Well Trusting you. <laughs> and I go back down. Okay. Do you take a breath full of air first? Not a full breath. If that's the point, then let's let's expedite the process. Expedite okay. the process. Okay. Can I get a card check from everybody really quick? You slip down. Once again, the robe is, it's even heavier now. You feel your from that previous close encounter, your muscles are starting to ache, almost. A minute goes by. A minute 30. And you feel your lungs begin to convulse, trying to expel the air. Do you let it go? This time I let it, yeah. As soon as your last bit of air leaves your lungs, you feel a sense of peace. Your head tilts back a little, and then your feet touch down. When you open your eyes, they do not burn or sting. It's not quite air. You still can't see very far. You still can't see anything. You are in an inky void, but there is ground beneath your feet. You feel a light trickle of hand over your shoulder. You look to your left, and then when you look back, a white mask floats ten feet ahead of you. Hi, I'm Evan, and I bow again, uh, but properly this time. You find that while you are no longer breathing, you find that you are also do not need to breathe currently. Weird. Very odd sensation. Um. Silence so in front of you. So I died a couple months ago. And I'm not complaining. I'm not, I'm very glad to be back. Um, I just don't understand why I think is my issue here. You have a greater purpose. Yeah, that's... That's what they said. The druids who brought you back. Yeah. Um, they kept talking about how it wasn't time yet and there was still work to be done. But I... I don't know what that work is and I don't understand why I have to do it. Like this, uh, as you speak, this porcelain mask comes even closer, and you realize it's much larger than a normal humanoid face would be. It's maybe a giant head. It is very simple, Evan Harper. I need you. We all need you to destroy the Mad Lich King. The Exarch of Vecna. You will not do it alone. But this is why, when your thread was cut short, I allowed it to be repaired. I'm grateful for that. Please don't think I'm not. I... 
this is going to sound stupid, but I just, I didn't think that that was ever something that my life would have in store. You know, I didn't go out looking for great evil to be destroyed. I'm, I'm a gardener's son. No. You are one of the future great druids of San Maria. I don't know how to lead people. You do not have to. But to move the world, one must first move themselves. Okay. Do not Thank you. do not die again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you for receiving me. Have you any more questions? Prayers? I just ask that you watch over those we've lost. This conflict seems to have no end and it has claimed a lot of good people. And I ask your special blessing over on Elena. She's had a really, really rough go of it recently, and I couldn't forgive myself if something happened to her. I think that's it. I have already ferried the two innocent souls of which you speak. The rest is up to you. Okay. Thank you. She does not respond to your gratitude. Porcelain mask lingers for a moment. Maybe a moment longer than you expect. And then it disappears. And your lungs are burning. You're drowning. Yeah, I just begin to propel myself up as fast as I can. As you come up, you feel a, um, a strong hand grasp the, at your robe and pull you up out. You create a, with a, a very gross flop, um, like a towel, like a wet towel on stone. You look up through your crimson painted eyes to see Winter, the cleric of the Raven Queen, looking at you. Cough up some blood. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. That did it. She always she always makes time for her fate touched. It's an honor. It's terrifying, but it's it's an honor. Could I get one of those towels? Um... She nods, and you see, and Andy zooms over. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was so cool! That was so cool! Tell me, you have to tell me everything. And as she goes on, we will come back to Fate's Chosen. We see Leona and Kesra. Waiting, sitting in one of the rooms, waiting to be received by King Theo. He is currently in a meeting in an office, essentially, with someone who you do not know. As you approached, um, a, an assistant directed you two to sit in this room. 
uh, it's a very plush room, a few couches, some books, throw rugs. What do you think he wants to <coughs> talk about? I mean, I don't know. Do you know? No, that was a silly question. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he would ask Rhea that, not us. I mean, I don't know how much he knows about the whole Baldahar and all that, or anything oh. relating to it, but, I mean, I mean, there are a lot of things he could ask. Hope he doesn't ask about that. Mm. I don't really know. Well, what would you prefer he ask you about? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. I mean, I don't. Just I don't not. think. I mean, I guess he could just be calling us in to tell us something. That doesn't seem particularly likely, but maybe it's possible. Okay. Have we seen Xanalor? Not yet. This is before lunch. In my head, I heard before breakfast, and I was like, wait, wait, no, I'm totally messed up. <laughs> before lunch. Okay. I'm going to practice my whittling for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to stare off into space. I think. There are a lot of questions buzzing around in my head, but I don't really particularly feel like voicing any of them before we go meet the new king Theo what's his hey wait sunshine what's mm -hmm. I just bow right yeah because you can I bow, yeah. I will fall over if I try to curtsy I mean yeah I think maybe a bow is perfectly acceptable okay I will cut you fancily enough for both of us, and you can just do a nice bow, and no one can fall on their face. Great. Okay. That's perfectly respectable. Yeah. <clears throat> do you think it'll just be him? I don't know. I'm not really good at... <clears throat> I know. But I've been through, I've been to a lot of things like this. I mean, not usually with like a king or anything, but you will be going in by yourself. Okay. Okay. I shit my hand. I'm gonna like turn away. <laughs> and just fiddle with my eye for much longer than I probably should. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm very nervous. Very nervous. So I don't know at all what to expect. Kesra. What? Hmm? What's your favorite color? I don't know. Purple. Is it really purple? I feel like you're just telling me that. I mean... I don't know. What about... Like, what kind of purple? Purpley purple. That doesn't mean anything. Like a red purple or an indigo, or maybe a light purple or a dark purple, or a, or a, I don't know. It's a purple purple. That's not, that's not an answer. I Stop mean... it. Stop it. Which of your colors? What 
What's your favorite color? I told you the sunshine. I don't know. I don't have a favorite color. I think it's oh my gosh. weird okay. that people have favorite colors. Okay, okay. Then I'm gonna dig in my bag and I'm gonna pull out some of the rocks that uh, um, Salix gave me so I could make colors to color my sunset picture. And I'm gonna put them out in front of me. Which one do you like the best? Uh... What about these? And I'll like push, I'll just like move them all around. That one's kind of square. Oh, uh, that, no, you, that's not, it's not about the shape. It's about the color. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh... There... Mm. Oh, thank God. I'll pull them back all into my bag. Um, an older man steps out. You would recognize him as Xanalor Silvarian. Oh, I take it back. His blonde hair is, uh... Pulled back. I'm sorry. His no. He's got blonde hair, like like Soren. His blonde hair is pulled back, um, out of his face, and you can see his uh, bluish green eyes, slightly pointed ears. He glances at the two of you, gives you a nod. Leon <coughs> Kessler. I couldn't tell if that was in character, or out of character. <laughs> It's out of character. <clears throat> hi. Um, hi. I will see you both later. I actually have to run at the moment. But after your meeting with His Majesty, perhaps we could catch up. That'd be great. Right? Right. Okay, guys, let's go. Two of you enter, and this is a very small, not a very, it's a comfortable size study. Not, it's not massive, it's not stately, it's just very comfortable. Um, there's a long desk, um, a long desk full of papers and quills, all very neatly organized. This man seems to be very orderly. You see, this gentleman is white blonde hair, bright blue eyes, um, distinctly human features. Gives you both a bit of a smile. Come in, come in. I will curtsy, and as I do, I will glance to Kessera. I will very awkwardly bow. I will curtsy deeper to try to distract from her pitiful bow. And come on, <laughs> come have a seat, the two of you. Let's cut to the chase. I would like to know what you saw in the castle. Uh, I mean, we, we didn't see a whole lot. I'm certain not. You seem to be in and out very quickly. I would just like to hear about any, anything that you, anything that might've stood out to you. such as items, or servants, or guards. Okay. They had a- Decorations. They had a what's-her-face in the dungeons. Uh, uh, she had horns. A tiefling? N no. Worse. What? It's really hot, but worse. I didn't see this because I wasn't near the door. Yeah, I don't Was know. it human? No. No. I don't know the word for it. We closed the door real fast. Oh. We, I, I do Aaron, remember yes. you guys closing the door. Yes. The Aaron, yes, yes. I don't. Sure. Yes. Your Majesty. My Lord. Tiny. Yeah, it seems. Uh, yeah, they had one of those in the dungeon, in the torture room. 
I think she was doing the torturing, not the not being. I don't. Do really... we remember? Do I remember? Leona would be better at this than me, but do I remember anything? Leona was pretty zeroed in, so. Mm, I think the only thing that really stood out to you would have been the guards right. that you saw, like Valentin, and then maybe the paintings that you passed on the way to the dungeons. I mean, we had some help, but you already know about that. Valentin. Um, it was a painting that looks a lot like your horse. Heart it was a horse. It's fine. Um, yeah, everything seemed might have been something off with the guards in the dungeon, but I don't. Sorry, I don't. They all seemed like normal guards. Just instead of helping, they were trying to k kill us. Yeah, I can't say that I've ever been in the palace. I don't really know what yeah, you have changed. I don't have a lot of experience with soldiers. That's fine. Uh, I suppose my next question would be to the two of you. What do you plan on doing next? I am obligated morally when I see two people of such immense power, gifts, abilities, to offer you places within the rebellion. Oh. However, I understand that that might not be well received or accepted. I am, as I said, morally obligated to offer. Thanks. It's very flattering. Lord, Highness. Um, I don't really know where we're going next, necessarily, but I'm not sure if it's in the rebellion. I understand. This war is a farce. It is. Unnecessary evil. But I understand not wanting to take a side. I wish I did not have to either, to be quite honest with you. I, th I, th I, th I think in the end, we'll all end up on the same side. Maybe just not right now. Well said. I agree. None of us here are enemies. In fact, despite, even though you do not wish to join the rebellion, I offer my home to you both to stay as long as you need. Mother bitch. Oh no. Hey. Hey guys. Hello. I hope his internet's okay. While we're waiting for... Oh, there he goes. Morgan, drop. Morgan, will no. you um, Do the in? honors. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba. Are we good? We're good. Are we fixed? Yep. I offer my home to you. You may stay as long as you need. And... As your host, I will give you any resources that you should require. It's very generous of you. You are my honored guests. Thank you. In fact, there is a small gathering here. In two days' time, an officer's ball. 
Something to raise morale. You are welcome to attend. And Miss Will Silver, I would be honored beyond measure if you would sing for us. Oh. I mean like I said, I don't I don't exactly know what our plants are are next, so I'm sure we could spare a couple of days. Very good. Very good. Sure. Is there something you would like to say, Miss Swiss Silver? <sighs> no, I don't think so. Just... Thank you for welcoming us into your home, all of us. As I said, we are not enemies. Quite the opposite. If there's anything I can do to help aid you in your next endeavor, I pray you should let me know promptly. We can do that. Yep. Is there anything else you need from us? I do not believe so. Is there, like, a quiet place, like, outside somewhere where I can, like, two hours, like, by my by myself. Certainly there's a garden. Um, pretty well tended. I have to do pay more things. Certainly. Yeah. Pay. You say pay more yeah, things. I'll tell you later. fine. Thanks. I hope you ladies have a lovely afternoon. <sighs> yeah. Um, I it was... I just need more, more. I'll, I'll stand up. <laughs> I'll give another curtsy. Um, what? <laughs> thank you, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. And I will exit. You would actually know that it's Majesty. Majesty! I was supposed to say that's the mini thing, not only Anna thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to follow her up. <laughs> My horseback sunshine. Wait, hey, little things. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get red. Oh, still oh, I thought you were going to pray or something. I was like, <laughs> no, it's two hours is a long time. I'm very impressed. Well, no, mm. I mean, we could do that too. I got it. Redstone capital. Oh, we could do both. No, no, I no, nope, nope. I've heard that it usually it takes like what ten minutes to get that to do the the, the thing if you know how to do the thing. But plenty I, of time to say a little so breath. I'm like two hours. I feel like it's a nice, generous, gen, generous buffer. For... Did you say two hour buffer for a ten minute. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sunshine, if you recall, I don't actually remember actually ever summoning red red just kind of showed up oh yes yeah i mean i don't know maybe praying would help mm -mm, seems fake but okay <laughs> in another You're part of, in another part of the castle uh alexander and ray are in the library Oh my. With a crowbar. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> what are we killing? <laughs> uh, Alexander and Ray are uh, in the library. Um, Ray is sitting in a reclined, ch not a recliner, but a, um, like a armchair, le leafing through a book. He doesn't seem to actually be reading it. But that's where you find him. Your Majesty. Oh, um, Alexander. 
how are you this morning? Well, and you? Quite well. It's good to be back. <laughs> I'm sure. Did I overhear you say something about a treaty? Mm -mm. Or did I? No? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Um, so, what do you plan to do now? Well, I plan to reunite the Imperial Army. I plan to make peace with the Rebellion. I plan to unite all of our forces to take down Apollyon, the King of Torment. And assume my place as King of Zandaria. And then plan to rescue my mother. These are all um, good things to hear. Taking some advice that was given to me by a wise man. Oh. I'm glad to hear that. I often fail to hear wise advice, it seems. What do you plan? I don't know. My position with the Rebellion will keep me with them for at least some time. I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping that Kestra will stick around for a little while, but I have a feeling she will uh, get pulled wherever Leona goes, and that's it's probably for the best. You and Kesra are an old couple. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> you say that with such pride. Not, no judgment, of course. I think Kesra is bonnie. <laughs> yes, yes, she is quite. You know, she can. She has quite the sense of humor once you get her to open up. It. it takes quite a bit of force patience yes. time patience uh, i think tact just kind of ignoring her obstinance and and pulling right through really um will you take leona with you no no definitely not the safest place for her is far away from me. <laughs> Why is that so funny? What? Oh, Areo. She's told you about the visions he saw in the mountains, right? Which visions? The ones we saw at the pool. The Well of Wonder. I wasn't there. I know, I said she's told you about them, hasn't she? No, she hasn't. Ah. What visions? Well, there is no safe place for those two. Maybe with each other, I think. I would agree. You know, Alexander, I do have to ask. Hmm. How serious are you about Kestra? <laughs> I think the better question is how serious is she about me? I think that is fair. Um, I enjoy her company. I think that given time uh, she she has she has mentioned that she would uh, prefer a much simpler life. If uh, 
the bar whole... is low for that. <laughs> well, yes and no. Uh, she has um, a lot of obligations that she is avoiding or attempting to avoid. I'm feeling very cooled out right now. I, ah, no. <laughs> I tease. It's just that Kestra and I have much in common. To be fair, I have much in common with you as well. Such as? Well, I mean, I have, I did step up and, and try and help the rebellion, but I am not, when this is all over, I will not stay. Well, I will you... find a, I will find a quiet place. Somewhere away from the cities. I was raised in this corded life, and like you, I don't particularly enjoy it. I always found so much solace in books. You are lucky to have that option. Yes, I know, but... Did you know that when I was 12, I considered joining the knights, giving up my title. Valentin was the one who convinced me not to. Interesting. Also, my sister said that she would cut my ears off, so. <laughs> yes, the threats of, well, choose your twin sister, but I know the threats of older sisters for sure, and they are not to be trifled with. Oh, Annalena is much wiser than I. <laughs> she might be three hours younger, but she's many years older in her spirit. She's been through quite a bit. I don't think we have any idea what she's been through. I agree on that. Alexander, if you see Roman Kent again again. Oh, I plan on putting a few choice bolts into him for sure. He was always a snide little cuss growing up, but. Yes, he was. Should you be the one to take him down, I would owe you a life debt. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Uh, all right. I will keep that in mind. I wouldn't mind being the one to do it myself after what he did to Annalena, but... Should we get him into the same room at the same time. I will defer to your prior claim. For that, for that I thank you. When this is all done, I hope, I hope that we're both standing, I hope that we both get what we want. I agree. It would be nice. It would be great to be able to be on the same side as you again. Formally. <laughs> who I knows, understand. when this is all said and done, who knows what will happen. But I would like for us to be friends. I think that is a thing that can happen. Oh, and there's one more thing. Hmm. He stands up, closes the book, sets it on a table. Xandrin. Stay far away from him. I do not mean that to sound as a threat. I mean it as a warning. Oh? Yes. Why? He has a way of getting under one's skin. Hmm. Of getting what he wants from you and then disappearing when it's convenient. I 
I see. Alright. He likes to seek out powerful people for his own end. To use them. Manipulate them. Mm -hmm. Hurt them. Oh. And DM question, I'm just trying to make sure I remember. Xandrin is Leona and Kestra's father? Mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. This is Xandrin. This is the guy from, Len from Lenoria. This is the warden's son. Oh, Xandrin. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. This is the warden's son. Yes. Whom you would know was in a relationship somewhat yes. with Oreo. Yes. Oh, I am I am well aware of um, his proclivities. He's made a few passes. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I you have no worry. No, no, go ahead. You have no worry there from me. He, um, he seems, he seems to like to play the game a bit too much. Yes, I had just heard some rumors that he had found, um, a new toy. And I would hate to, uh, see you suffer the same fate that I did under his thumb. So, anyway, uh. That is all that I have. I will be, I will be leaving in a few days. All right. So, should you need anything else, you know where to find me. Your Majesty. He takes his leave. But in the door, as he leaves, you see Apollo. Your oldest brother. Apollo. Except his face is drained of all color. Alexander. It's Celestia. What? <laughs> um. She's, she's back. She's claiming the tight. She's claiming the throne of Asmarin. She's alive. Excuse me? Are you all right? Come see for yourself. I'll follow him. As you do, you hear there is a bit of a commotion uh, in the way that he's leading you. Um, you see Leona and Kesra, Xanalor, Evan, Annalena, Andromeda Skyseeker all massing in this in the Great Hall as a very tall, regal woman steps through the front doors of the castle. She has long blonde hair, almost silvery white, indigo eyes. Celestia Vanderborn Delaney, the oldest daughter presumed dead for over 15 years. She gives a hard look to everyone around, lingering on Apollo for a second, and then finally locking eyes with her brother, Theo, the king. Younger brother, I see you've kept my place warm for me. Let's have a chat. And that, my friends, is where we're going to wrap this session up. Can I do one thing? What would you like yeah. to do? One thing what would you like before to do? we wrap up. What would you like Let's to do? Not say anything. I would just like to do a paladin -y thing. Mm -hmm. Cast Divine Sense. I will message you. I was going to say, I wanted to cast Detect Magic. <laughs> I'll message you. Okay, I'm casting Divine Sense. I can do that four times. Okay. It's fine. I wanted to. Well, okay then. Shit, y'all. <laughs> this is a session and a half. Shit. Well, friends. We had some things. 
There will be some more things next session. <laughs> <laughs> then more things the session after that. Okay. And then the session after that. <laughs> the session after that. <laughs> the session after that, there won't be things. There will be no things five sessions from now. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor, Campaign Coins. We will be running a giveaway from them uh, soon. Next month. Yeah. What month is it? This month. It's November. I say it's wow, November. it's November. Right. Um, I will say, happy 50th episode. Oh, yeah. Um, also, give a shout out to everyone who was part of Extra Life this weekend. Holy moly, we raised over $1,000. For, Crazy. For Children's Miracle Network Hospitals! It was so good! I cried! She did. Usually Mindy's the one crying. I cried. I, I cried a little, but she, she cried more, too. so she won more. I was also tired and emotional. Um, I want to give a shout out to our f- warm, fuzzy patrons. Belle Chavez! Yay! And Callan. Thank you! Yeah! For our lore masters, I am a few weeks away from publishing the Oracle class, taking it out from Pathfinder and making it its own cool thing with the vision mechanics that you see and the curse that you see from Leona. They will all be included. I'll be releasing it also on the Dams Guild where you can purchase it for dollars. Not probably very many dollars. Just Doll, a hairs. Dollars. Doll hairs. Doll hairs. <laughs> Not just... dollars. Doll hairs. Find a doll, not real hairs. Real <laughs> hairs are not accepted only doll hairs. Because I'm uh, tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. If you are not um, a part of our Discord, you should um, come hang out with us on our Discord. Woo woo. Yeah. If you do not follow us on Twitter, you should. Woo woo. Let's go ahead and sign off. We'll save our guest for a second to last. Well, our, both of our guests. We'll save our Evan guest for last. Let's do Mindy first. Mindy. Hi, I'm Mindy. I go first. <laughs> um, oh, you can find me on Twitter. Oh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at MKY1713. Um, I played Leona tonight. Yay. I didn't cast Mending, but I cast it as Sending. Hi, I'm Kate. You can find me on Twitter and literally everywhere else important on the internet at Very Pale Ale. And I played Kesra. Hi, I'm Morgan and I play Alexander. You can find me on Instagram at Revenant underscore Ceramics. Hi, I'm Jono. I played Evan. You can find me on Twitter at Mammal Jono. And I'm Camille. I'm the Dungeon Master. I play everybody else. You can find me on Twitter at Camille Does DND. You can find the channel at Open Four Adventure, the number four. That's not how you spell my name, Jordan. Camille is not how you spell my name. Listen, <laughs> I do have one more announcement. And this is a big one. The new Open Four Adventure campaign that will run in this same universe, parallel to what's going on. Begins Saturday, November, Sunday, Sunday. November 10th at 3 o'clock central? Perhaps? It's either 3 or 4. One of the two, y'all. I think it's 3. It could be 2. In that time zone, time... Guys, I'm tired. I think it's I want to say 3. Okay. You will find out shortly. It'll be on our Twitter. That will feature Eris. That will feature... Juan Carlos, that will feature Thorny Dryad, and that will feature Baby Wizard. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. So good. It's so good. Uh, all, all the goods. Don't forget to also tune in on Saturday mornings for our friends at the Half Rate Heroes. Half Rate Heroes. Half Rate Heroes. Because they're also super awesome, and you should take a watch. Get they it. are amazing. They took this last Saturday off, and Graham ran a one shot. But this, they are resuming back Three on days of D and D. Bam, bam, bam. Days in a row. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. And it's then like, 
Jordan's one Jordan's sessions are gonna be on Friday, so it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <gasps> like a four day weekend every week. What? <laughs> non stop D D. <laughs> Three, two brothers. Oh, Guys, I think that time change is catching up to us. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, it's a good time. It's a, it's a fun time to be alive. If you are interested in being a part of our channel, we are always welcoming new people as long as you're cool and not a dick. That's Important. really the only requirement. You don't have to be cool. You just have to be not a jerk. A yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We have That's literally no the only rule. <laughs> asshole policies. That's, very that's it. So come hang out with us in a Discord. You can fill out a form, and we can get you, maybe even get you on the channel sometime. That'd be cool. Come and hang out with us. We're pretty cool. Uh, is that, am I forgetting anything, friends? Oh, 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 yes. For those 24 people who are still hanging out with us, we are going to, I'm just announcing this right now for the very first time, we are going to run one final giveaway of a Legendary Beyond. No. Legendary bundle from D&D Beyond, and our goal is 800 Twitch followers. When we reach 800 Twitch followers, we will give away one legendary bundle from D&D Beyond, valued at $574.39. That's some cool shit right there. That's a lot. We've already given out two. We have one more to give out. Done, yeah. yeah. They say D&D &D fancy. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. Also, um, I'll be at PAX if anybody's gonna be there. Come find me. All right, we're gonna sign. We've already signed off. We're gonna roll credits. credits. We're gonna Wait, credits. Camille, you didn't sign off. Yes, I did. My name is Camille. I play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet, and you can find me on Twitter at Camille's DND. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> I even link you as a website. <laughs> <laughs> and I love all of these people, <laughs> and they make me cry sometimes. Um, yay. <laughs> yay! Yay! We did it. What? Um, don't worry. Evan, are you joining us next week? Are you? We'll I talk sure about can. It. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Than will be back with us next week. He had an emergency. But we love him anyway. It's fine. All right, y'all. Thank you, Vector Refrigeration, for just subscribing. What a name. What Thanks a name. Thanks for having a name. Thanks for having wow. a name. That's awesome. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Vecno Refrigeration. Like, what is that like, though? Okay, we have to sign off, because I'm getting tired. <laughs> we have to be done. Getting tired? <laughs> Salutations. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you. Have a wonderful you. life! We'll see you soon. Okay, bye.